If you'd like to visit my online store, Papa's Trains, Toys, CDs, and more, just go to papatrains.com, and when you get to the landing page, scroll down and you'll see a Papa's Trains logo. Click the logo, and it'll take you to my store. I'm about to build the Blue Coal Depot for my N-Scale layout that I'm putting together with my grandson. And I'm going to make a video of it so you can see how we put it together. And this is N-Scale and it is available in my online store, Papa's Trains, Toys, CDs and more. You can get there by going to papatrains.com, click the little logo and it will take you right to the store. Now we have this in N-Scale and we also have it in HO Scale. So come over and visit us at the store. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, you know by now that I'm a big fan of, of working on a piece of glass because it gives you a flat surface to work on. And one little unique bonus is that you can take your instructions and lay it under the glass and they won't get damaged, but you can see what you need to do. Now this is what the parts look like when they're all laid out on the sprues. It also comes with a little plasticine page for the windows. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I am holding a piece of clear plastic in my hand. And some stickers, decals. And you also get a little page that helps you verify all the parts, identify all the parts, etc. Okay, now we're just going to start taking our time and once again, you know I love my little jeweler's anvil for cutting things off the sprue. Let's see now. Take our razor knife, exacto razor knife. Find you a good flat spot so that you're Plastic lays perfectly flat on that anvil and cut. Makes a beautiful cut, like very smooth. And I'm not going to put you through watching me do all of this. I'm going to do all this, do all the cutting, and then we'll come back. All right, now after a bit of cutting and whittling and smoothing the edges, uh, there's a little thing that happens when things are squeezed out of a mold. There's, sometimes there'll be just a little fluff around the edge. And it's called flash. And you have to trim that away in most cases uh, because it can sometimes be where the uh, pieces have to join. And if those joins aren't smooth, it, it won't fit together right. But you'll have to learn to tell the difference between flashing and where like an edge has a little... Uh, chamfer or a little uh, rabbit or whatever you don't want to trim that away but you after you build a few models you'll know exactly what I'm talking about it'll be a little just a little thin fluff on the edges it, it doesn't amount to much but you have to get it off of there but after some careful cutting and cleaning we now have all of our parts together and I have checked it with the parts list and lo and behold all the parts are there so we're going to start a little glue up and through the magic of time lapse, you'll just see it come together. I won't talk much. You'll just you'll just watch it start to come together. While I'm gluing, I thought I would try to show you a detail here. I don't know if the camera will focus on it enough or not. Let's see if it'll, we can bring it into focus here. If you notice very closely, there's a little flange on the window here. And what you will do now? Let's see if it'll focus back on the. What you will do, turn the wall that has the window in it, turn it over on its back, and put that little flange forward. And it just sort of clicks in there and rests in there. And then put your second window in there. Okay. Now, lay that down. And I don't know if you remember the little toothpick trick that I showed you, but... 
pick you up just a little bit of glue and just simply put that glue right around that edge doesn't take much Sorry, working and sticking to my finger now. All right, this edge here, and you're good to go with your window. There won't be any glue through to the outside. You might want to place that one. Just slide your windows till they're sort of centered good. Now you won't have any glue on the outside. Just thought I'd show you that little tip. Now the first thing we're going to do is put the windows in. Then we're going to assemble the sides and put that on, them on the base. Then we'll assemble the coal bins and the second floor. It sort of has a second and third floor, but uh, the part over the coal bins, I don't know if you'd call that the second floor or not, but that was what I was calling the second floor, but there is actually a second floor. Now what we're going to do is put the sides of the top floor on. And we're going to assemble the little coal chute and its little building part with its roof. Put it on the side of the building. Now we're going to put the roof on. Then we assemble the little, I don't, I don't know what you call these little top sections, but we're going to put them together and put them on top. I don't know if that's where it, uh, a vent for fresh air or getting some of the coal dust out of there or what but anyway put these little top parts on now we're going to assemble the little front part that supports the front part of the top part of the building under which the train will drive and then last of all we're going to put our little fence on on the back side Voila, we have our Blue Coal Depot. Well, we're finally through with our little Blue Coal Depot guy. Turn him around so you can see all his little parts. Nice little fence detail right there. The business side, little office. In the part right under here is where the coal drops down into your of course there's your coal bins right in here and you shoot that brings it up top so that it can then come forward all of course an imaginary world that it doesn't I'm not trying to lead you to believe that it actually brings the coal up and puts it in your coal car but that's what it would do in real life anyway but I think it's a neat little model a little in scale blue coal depot and these are available in my store Papa's trains toys CDs and more come visit us it's an online store papatrains.com just go down to the logo and click on it and it'll bring you to my store I've enjoyed building this for you Come visit us in the store. God bless you. Now don't forget, if you'd like to visit my online store, Papa's Trains, Toys, CDs, and more, just go to papatrains.com, and when you get to the landing page, 
scroll down and you'll see a Papa's Trains logo. Click the logo and it'll take you to my store.